Hi, I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and today I want to give you a tutorial on how to make your dog's coat look thicker and fuller before you scissor it, before you go in the ring. Um, so we're gonna show this to you on Ellie Mae. Now obviously she's in a pet trim, so if you had a dog that you were in a grooming competition with, that this would be fine. But this is basically, you know, for show dogs. You might have a poodle um, or a Bichon, another scissored breed, or even a double-coated breed that's really, really out of coat, a Sheltie, an Australian Shepherd, a Bernese Mountain Dog, kind of anything in between that you might need to use this technique on. So we're gonna demonstrate on Ellie Mae's top knot because you can see how, you know, she's an older dog and she doesn't really have a lot of body or volume and her top knot simply just wants to do this, right? So how can we make this look, and you know, she was just freshly bathed and dried um, and you know, was blown dry trying to get more volume out of this. So how can we make this look thicker and fuller and last for the groom, um, for the competition, you know, while you're in the ring, while you're being judged, all of those things. So first of all, I'm just gonna show like, here's her top knot fluffed up, right? And, but see how easily it just breaks apart. So it just doesn't want to stand up. Obviously, if a judge touched it or she moved around the ring, immediately um, <clears throat> it would not hold its shape. So this is how um, I would go about approaching that. I'm just gonna do this area here, her head, and I'm going to use um, a carbon slicker and a comb, and I'm gonna use some thick and thicker aerosol spray. So this is the thick and thicker, zero weight, ultra fine mist, natural feel, natural lift, natural volume, texturizing, botifying spray. So if you're wondering what it's called, it has that whole description right there on the bottle. Um, and to me, this is the genius of this spray. So it doesn't feel like a hairspray, it's a texturizing spray. So this is how I would do it. So you would use this technique wherever your dog needed more volume. So most likely going up the sides or going up the legs of the dog. So I would start with my layer and I'm gonna brush a layer straight up the direction that I want the hair to go, right? So I want this hair to go up and I'm going like from the root of the hair to the tip. Then I'm gonna take my spray and I'm gonna go from the bottom to the top as well. So not like spraying up a poodle where you just do the bottom third for all you poodle people out there, but remember you can use this on double coats, on Vichons, on anything at all. So from the base all the way to the top, I'm just going to use a spray from about um, 12 inches away and I'm gonna give it a little spray and then just make sure that that is like lightly combed in all the way to the end. You can see already how it's standing up. So close up again, right? We're just going to take a layer of the hair and I like to make it about like a finger width wide. So like not this whole section. So about a finger width of hair. And you don't need to use a parting comb, but just to demonstrate to you, I will. I'm just gonna like part it through here, pull up that little layer of hair and I'm gonna brush it straight up how I want it to fit in with the rest of the coat. And again, from about 12 inches away, give it a spray and then just make sure that it's all connected together. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. And I'm just going like from the root all the way to the tip, right? And again, spray with my TNT. Give it a comb to make sure that all the hair is perfected. And this time I'm cheating, not using the parting comb. And, but still taking that same amount of hair. You want to make sure that you're not spraying the hair like this, like when it's, you know, you don't, cause that's the shape that the hair is going to try and take. So you want to make sure that you're trying your best to get the hair, you know, straight up. If you are doing the sides of your dog, I always recommend that you do the off side first, which is not how I normally recommend it. And that's because when you do the show side, they're going to be laying on the off side. You don't want to flatten out the work that you've already done. Then now as I get closer to the front, I'm just gonna cover up her eyes with my hand and I'm 
brushing up this other layer of coat. I wanna make sure that I can get right in there at the base of the coat with my TNT spray. And again, making sure that I'm following up. This is really great for puppies of almost any breed that have a thinner coat, especially when you're in a lot of competition. Um, and also this spray does feel like texture. It doesn't feel like hairspray. So could you use this on a silky terrier? No, probably not, right? Because it's gonna feel like it has texture to it and it's not gonna feel silky. So now that I have all those layers in there, I'm just gonna go through the top and just like pull it in the direction that I want. Um, and I can tell by looking at it that I didn't get quite enough on this side because I was like playing to the camera a little bit too much. I might give a little mist over the entire thing and then just like comb it up. Um, but it doesn't feel hairsprayed, right? So this would not stay up like a poodle top knot. Like it, you can still like get your fingers through it, but when I blow on it, right, it, it's gonna hold its shape. I can pull it back into shape quite easily and make it look um, fuller, right? You can see that it looks a lot more fuller now than it did at the beginning when as soon as she moved her head in any way, it just like all flopped. Like even if I move her head, it's not parting in the middle, etc., like it was at the beginning. So as you can see, um, now the hair isn't parting in the middle. You know, we can keep adding to this, um, especially depending on the breed, but it doesn't feel like hairspray. It feels like texture. So the next time you're showing a puppy or maybe an older dog or a dog that just has thinner coat or maybe no undercoat, remember that you can do your brush out, your line brushing and line combing with some TNT aerosol and it's going to give you this much body and just really give you the shape that you're after without making your dog looking like it's thin coated or it's lacking an undercoat. I hope that helps. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below, let us know what you thought, and as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium, and subscription content, and we'd love to have you join us there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications, that way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.